Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Continuing with the series and the next leak under my magnifying glass is the Israeli Basketball League. I will repeat the rules which players are eligible for the report. The first rule is that the players will be playing for the first time in this competition. Second rule is that only non-domestic players will be eligible for the list. And the third rule is that the player must be 27 years old or younger, so only players born in 1994 or after that are eligible for the list. The players on the list are not necessarily the best, but just the most interesting to me, and I expect that they will not have any problems translating to their new team and league. Also, the players are not in any particular order. Starting with Ronnie Harrell Jr. He started his professional career in Romania, later went to Luxembourg and played last year in Spain in the second division. Israeli league will be the strongest domestic league he has played so far and I'm curious if his game will translate to this level too. A swingman with good positional size, able to attack the rim and make shots from distance. He hasn't bought me completely as a consistent shooting threat from distance though, but he's showing some confidence when taking those shots. Probably he will have a pretty big scoring role in his team and we will see how much he'll be able to score on this level. Another interesting player in Hapoel Gilboa Galil is Sasha Kilia Jones. He started great last season in Poland and was amongst the best players in the competition, but then got injured and hasn't played since then. Usually Hapoel Gilboa Galil has a good hand when it comes to choosing their big men in the last few years. Zach Lide, Greg Whittington, James Kelly, Kerry Blackshear, Jehaiwe Floyd, to name a few players that played here in the last 5 seasons. Sasha is mobile for his size, can run the floor really well and can play above the rim has good basketball technique and knows how to create shots on post-ups and also is able to attack with drives from top. We'll see how he will return after the injury, but he has the qualities to be a great player in this team and league. This will be the first European experience for Justin Patton. Last few years he played mostly in the G League, but has some minor experience from the NBA too. He's a big that can do some damage at the rim, but also capable of stretching the floor. Not a reliable shooting threat yet, but showing some decent range and touch from distance. Also protects the rim well with his length, and he's showing some good defensive upside. Justin played some good matches and preparations, and I think he could be a really good player in Europe. Timothy Soares is a similar player as Patton, but Timothy already has a season in Europe under his belt. He played in Turkey in the second league last season and had a very good season there. Tim is mobile for his size and great in pick and roll actions, rolls quickly and directly to the rim, has good hands and can play above the rim too, showing some decent touch from distance too, and if he will be able to show similar performances in Israel as he did last year in Turkey, he'll quickly be in the notes of some bigger and richer clubs. Chris Clyburn, the younger brother from Will Clyburn, had a great last year for Smoky Minsk. He averaged more than 14 points and 4 rebounds per game in all competitions combined there and he will try to bring his game to a higher level in Israel now. The athletic swingman excels on open court and in transition. Great without the ball and when he gets some kind of advantage, he attacks the rim aggressively. Plays with energy and showing some good motor all the time and this kind of mindset can bring him even to some higher level of competition. The only rookie on my list is Javion Hamlet that is coming to Israel directly from college. That being said, he'll probably need a few months to adapt, but I think that over time he should be fine. Javion has good positional size and uses it well on drives. He's not the most explosive player, but somehow able to create some separation. Versatile game in offense and can do many things on the floor. I'm not completely buying his shot yet, even though he had some good percentages in his college days. I think he can make a solid career in Europe. I already made a report on Chinano Anuaku and I think he will be a great player in this league. He can be really dominant around the rim on both sides of the floor, physically really strong and not afraid to use his strength and can be a good post-up player. Also pretty good in pick and roll sets and I think we will see a lot of dunks from him in this season. In defense he's a good rim protector and can crush the boards on both ends.
Hapoel Jerusalem made some big signings this offseason and Tonmaker is one of them. The 10th pick from the 2016 NBA draft played for different teams in the NBA but no one found a good role and fit for him and we will see if he'll be able to get a bigger role in Israel now. Ton can be a game changer with his size and length but his offensive game is still somehow unpolished. He can make shots from distance and give the team some stretch but not really a reliable shooter in my opinion. Usually plays with solid energy and in the right role he could be a great player for this competition. Another interesting player that signed for Hapoel Jerusalem is Kaiser Gates. If Ton Maker was getting more opportunities in the NBA, Kaiser was playing last year's in the G League. He had some 20 plus points games in the G League, but he didn't make the jump in the NBA. The athletic 3 and D wing plays mostly off the ball and sinks those open 3 point shots. His release is high and not contested that easily. Limited as a creator, but if his teammates will create him some space, he will make those open shots and bring some points to the table. This will be his first season outside of USA, but I believe that his game will translate perfectly to Europe. Finishing the list with Derek Parton, undersized big with great motor and energy, always plays hard and competes for every ball, he can turn around quickly and this agility enables him to create something from the low post against bigger and taller players, has a very good feel for rebounds and is always at the right place, usually knows what he needs to do and is doing that stuff on a decent level. Definitely a player to watch since he has the potential to go to a higher level at the end of the season. And this is it for this time. Tell me in the comments below who are the players you can't wait to see in the Israeli league in this season. The playlist of the newcomers to watch series is on the screen now and if you missed any episode just click on the playlist and check it out now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode of this series. See you in the next video.